Hey everybody, this is Jason. In this video, my friend Vincent and I are practicing our scripts for real estate. I just made a video about how important it is for real estate agents to practice their scripts. That video will appear as a link in the top right corner of your screen right now. So we made this video to show you as a new realtor or somebody who is a future client of a real estate agent, what real estate agents do to practice their skills when they're going to help you. Thank you guys and without further ado, this is me and my friend Vince practicing real estate scripts. All right, ring, 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 ring. Hello. Tony. Hey, uh, who is this? Hey, I'm not selling anything real quick. My name is Jason and I'm a realtor and recently home prices, I'm sure you're aware of this by the way, have gone really, really high. There's barely any homes for sale and we know we're gonna see more people sell their home. I'm just dropping by to see uh, did you meet a family friend or uh, maybe somebody at work who is looking to sell their home? I appreciate this. Uh, you know what? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm not interested, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, I'm, I actually, you know, I, I've, I'm running some errands right now and uh, I got to get going. So, um, unfortunately, you know, I don't know anyone either, so I'm not interested. Oh, sure. Yeah. Th well, thank you so much. Um, how about, do, do you guys own a property? I, I think, um, are you guys anywhere near like Mar Vista area? Uh, we are, but you know, we're, you know, we're kind of already talking to another person, another realtor, to be honest with you. And they're helping us out. Oh, that's good. That's good. Um, how did you guys meet the realtor before we go? Uh, we, they, they just, they actually called me about a month ago. Uh, so we've been in the works working with them with our property. Nice, so. nice. Yeah, well, I mean, the reason I saw you guys and the reason I saw this number, you know, is, is because I saw that you guys own 321 Admiral, Admiral Tree. Ugh, 321 Al Admiral Tree. It's not coming. 321 Admiral Street. Right. Yeah, we do. Cool. So you guys got tenants in there. You guys are renting it out, right? Right. Yeah, we're renting it out right now. Okay. Well, um, how's that going? Uh, it's going well. I mean, it's, you know... Um, you know, it is what it is, but you know, we'll, you know, like, yeah, it's, it's going fine. Okay. Well, thank you very much. That one, unless if I'm mistaken, that's a two bedroom, one bath, right? Right. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I mean, you know that a two bedroom, one bath, just like on average, even if it's not fixed up, goes for more than $1.4 million in that area, right? I'm sure you're well aware of that. Yeah. Right. That's what the other agent was telling me. Wow. So how, how's the condition? Did you guys like fix things up or things completely brand new or they kind of need some work? Yeah, everything's pretty much new. Uh, we've renovated everything in the last, you know, like two years. So, uh, but you know, we've slowly okay. been putting more and more work and money into it. Okay. Well, um, well, you mentioned that you guys are working with a realtor right now. Was there any thought on maybe like if you guys get the price that you like, really good, high price, would you guys maybe be looking to sell that home? Uh, you know what? I don't know. It's just because, I mean, with the other agent, we're not locked in. We're, we're just talking to him. Um, he's just, we, we, you know, we're not like locked in, but I mean, I guess if we, maybe if we find the right price, but also, you know, we're pretty comfortable renting it out just because I mean, it's, it's, it's steady income. Um, yeah. and you know, we're no, in no rush to, I, uh, uh, sell it. But if, I mean, if, if, if it is, if I can get a lot of money for it, you know, I'm also, I would entertain that as well. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So even with the current, the shutdowns and COVID and everything, you guys have good tenants right now as it stands. Yeah, we have pretty good tenants. They've been there. They've been there for a few years. Uh, they've been there for, I think this is going on their third year now. So, uh, they, they, they've been really good to us. Cool. But, but if you guys were even, I mean, maybe now's not the right time. I don't know. But if you guys were even thinking about selling it, what was the reason for selling it? It was like a goal to buy something else or to have a certain amount of money for retirement. Like what was the thinking behind it? The reasoning? Yeah. Like, we're, reason we're just a that. little bit older to be honest with you. And you know, we, we, we'd want oh, yeah, you, actually, you sound old. yeah. <laughs> so we, we, we'd want to, you know, we were just thinking about, you know, the, the spending the rest of our lives in, in another state. Right. I mean, it's just more for retirement things than, oh, than anything, but okay. also at the same time, uh, we don't mind staying here, uh, and if anything, that you know, the home would pass to one of our kids, you know, 
Um, of course, when the time comes. of course. So it's, okay. You know, well, you know, what kind of price were you guys thinking of if you were to sell it? Like, what number would you see that you guys would be like, hey, we might think about putting this up on the market if it'll sell for this amount? Yeah, I mean, we, I mean, we bought it or for you know like we've had it for that place for about 10 years or so so we bought it you know under a million but you know as you said it's it's 1.4 right now i mean but if it was i don't know 1.6 1.7 i mean you know i don't, I don't know if that's ridiculous to yeah. get that number but if it was around 1.7 it's for sure you know and i think about it at 1.6 but you know at 1.4 it's it's kind of like it doesn't it I can sell it, but I don't need to sell it. Um, it doesn't entice me that much. Where I, you know, I can keep that the 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 cash flow from the rent is pretty nice as it is. Uh, I got it. All right. Well, thanks for talking to me. I, I didn't even ask. My name is Jason. I didn't even ask for your name yet. Uh, Jim. Jim. Okay. Well, thanks again, Jim. Um, tell you what. Um, so one thing I could do is it looks like your magic buy it now. Like on Amazon, buy it now. Buy it. Your buy it now number is like 1.6 or 1.7, something in there. Right. Okay. Do you know when you guys sell it? Do you know how much goes into your pocket? Uh, a lot of it. I'm not 100% sure, but we, we bought it for pretty cheap and, you know, we've been renting it out for 10 years. Uh, yeah. And, you know, like it was a 30 year mortgage. So, a lot of it should be paid off, but you know, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure because we did put down uh 50% as well. So Whoa. we'll probably have a lot of uh, equity in there. That's okay. And that's exactly what I was going to ask. Like, is this thing paid off or do you guys still owe something? Okay. So We're very you know close to paying it off. Yeah. Very close. It's not, it's, we could pay it okay. off if we wanted to, but you know, we just haven't yet. Why don't we do this? Um, so it sounds like uh, the market may or may not be there yet, and I want to take a closer look because it's pretty damn close to what you're saying you like. Right. Um, I see the pictures of it on Zillow. No, actually, I don't because you didn't even put it up for sale. Never mind. Uh, well, anyways, I'm going to go and take a look at homes for sale close to you, and I'm going to find out exactly what the highest and best price we could get for your home. And if I could just show that to you over a Zoom meeting, I know people don't want to meet in person lately. Uh, would that be okay with you? We'd just do that. Just 15 minutes and I'll show you if we could hit that goal that you guys like, the 1.6, maybe even higher. Yeah, I'd be interested in that conversation. I just don't want to sign anything. Of course not. Of course. We're just talking about is this a good idea for you? And I don't even know yet. I need to figure it out and I'll just bring it to you on um, – See, today's Wednesday. I could do like Thursday or Friday, early afternoon, like 12-ish. Okay, yeah, 12, 12 on Friday works for me. 12 on Friday, great. Okay, um, is there anybody else that needs to be there, another family member, your wife, or anybody like this? Yeah, my wife My wife and I own the property, so uh, her name is actually on the, uh, you know, the paperwork. So uh, I should probably, I'll, okay. I'll make sure to ask her to, to, for her to be there. Awesome. What's her name? Jim? Uh, Michelle. Michelle. Okay, great. So yeah, to let Michelle know, bring her along on Friday, and then I'll just show you what I got, see if it's good for you, right? Right, that works. I'm open to the conversation. Okay, Jim, before we go, what's your best email? And I'll email you the Zoom, uh, the Zoom invite the day before, just to confirm. Okay, 123 at 123.com. 123 at 123.com, got it. See you on Friday. See you on Friday. Thank you. All right, thanks, Jim.